Hello everyone, I'm really excited to say that I've got a Your Creative Studio unboxing and project share for you today. I have received so many comments over the past few weeks saying, are you going to be doing any more Your Creative Studio um, shares? And I've got two boxes. I've got this one here, which is the April box, which I'll be doing today. I've also got the um, next one, which is the May box, which I will be doing something with as soon as I come back from holiday. Now, guessing from the the, um, little business card this is a sea themed box so let's take it out of the packaging and see what's inside let's undo this this packaging and see what we've uh, we've got here so the first package cling stamp let's have a look and see what um, what this is we have got two stamps here. We've got the lighthouse. Absolutely love lighthouses and also the, the shell. Those are gorgeous. So let's pop those off to one side. We have some washi tape. They call it masking tape. But um, let's have a look and see what the design of this one here is. And I'm going to be doing this for the um, Let's Journal prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, um, just because it's, it's quite fitting. So let's have a look and see what the design of this is. Beautiful. Love that. So let me just um, whoop, show you what the design looks like. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So let me just um, roll that back up. So that's our, our washi tape. We have a lace square. Intriguing. Let's see what's inside here. If I can get the box open. Lace square. Oh, right. OK, so these are tickets in lots of different colours. So looks as if we've got the same design, um, but in three different colourways. So we've got red, blue and green. So these are really fun because we can, you know, either stamp inside of these. I'm assuming these are stickers as well. Um, yep, they probably are. Um, to be honest, sometimes if I can't be bothered to um, get the backing off or if I want something um, slightly sturdier, I just apply glue straight to the sticker back and none of mine have ever come undone so that's just a another way that you can um, use these so we'll pop those off to one one side we also have um, this let's have a look and see what's in, inside here beautifully packaged I, I just love the way that some of these um, elements are, are packaged now this um, has nothing to do with the um, sea theme <laughs> this is a cooking theme so um, there we go um, maybe we can do something with these but these are just vintage um, recipes and um, and food um, advertisements so those are fun aren't they so we can have a play around with those We've got DIY manual account material package. Let's have a look and see what's in, inside this. So we've got some tickets and numbers and things. Um, these are fun. I love the colours of those. And in fact, actually, the colours of those go really well with the, um, the cookery theme. Um, I like these as well. So let's have a look. The American commercial uh, commercial invasion of Europe. So we've got a couple of those. That's lovely. So these are sort of like book um, covers, I would say. Um, I love this one here. Fine fantasy. So we've got a couple of each of these. The century for April and then Scribner's for October. And then a couple of um, smaller pieces of ephemera as well. I like the colours um, of these. So let's see if we can um, think of an idea, a way to um, possibly use, use those. We have some faux postage stamps. And again, the packaging um, is always really wonderful to use um, in your journals as well. I mean, just look how beautiful um, that is on both the front and the back. But we've got um, a beautiful array of faux postage stamps. I like these, Netherlands, um, USA. And it looks as if there are going to be a couple of each of the designs. Um, Poster Romana. Um, San Marino, um, Netherlands again, Australia, so all kinds of, um, of different designs. But these have got very much um, a floral theme. Um, those are lovely. Can you hear Louis meowing his head off in the background? 
Then we've got some um, sea themed ephemera. Let's have a look and see what we've got um, got here. Oh, these are really nice thick um, cardstock. So these would be lovely to use for embellishments. I like these a lot. We've got a couple of um, word phrases as well. Happy time. Um, lots of different designs. And there we go. That's the packaging for that one there. And I'm going to pause at this point and go and feed my cat before he drives everybody bonkers and round the twist. Where was I before Louis decided to get um, vocal? So loads of um, sea themed ephemera. Um, these are beautiful. They're plain on the back, but lots and lots of them um, of different um, designs and all kinds of different sizes as well. But aren't these just lovely? So we've got um, got those and we've got little um, words as well. Beats for instance and happy happy time what else do we have another cling stamp let's have a look and see what um, this design is oh I've got two of these is that the same oh that's the same as the other one right okay so this will be going to somebody in happy mail because i've got two that are exactly the same so another lighthouse and um a shell thank you very much amanda so as i've said i'll i'll do it do a share with that so i'll send that to somebody in happy mail we have some sticky notes We've got an escapee as well. So we've got a pad of sticky notes. They're all the same design, but you know, those are just absolutely wonderful for using in collage. Again, I just absolutely love the design um, of the backing paper as well. We have, what's, what's this? We'll open it and, um, and find out. Oh, these are beautifully designed papers. So we've got um, waves and seashells. So it looks as if we've got one, two, three, four. Four of each design by the looks of it. Um, so we've got um, waves and seashells. We've got um, jellyfish. And then we've got this one here with the octopus. Then we have this one here with the beach and happy time. So again, sort of mimicking the um, the ephemera that we had a look at um, earlier, these, um, these little cards. These are gorgeous. The colours are just absolutely beautiful. Um, this one here with the shell on it. Um, this one, so lots and lots of them um, of different designs of, of these. Absolutely beautiful for um, layering and using for collage. So let's pop those off to one side. And then just a couple more bits and pieces left. We've got some washi stickers by the looks of things. Oh, hang on, three more, three more items. So let's have a look and see what we have, have here. If I can get it out of the packaging, that is. So yeah, these are washi stickers. So we've got two. Are they the same? Yeah, two of that design and then one sheet of these and one sheet of these, which are rectangles. Um, so those are fun for us to use. We've got some of Amanda's Your Creative Studio um, stickers as well. Or are these are these stickers or are they rub ons? I think they're I think they're stickers, but we'll have a look at that later. And then we have got um, what looks like a piece of rice paper. Let me just um, open open this up and and have a feel of the texture, just so that I can see exactly what it is. But it looks like rice paper to me. Oh, it's tissue paper. Hang on, let me just um, be careful with this and not get it stuck to the to the label. So this is tissue paper and we've got one, two, five sheets of the same design. Um, but isn't that just absolutely beautiful? I've had a count up and I've received 12 separate items in this particular box. Um, I think I'm going to stick with a C theme. So let me put my thinking cap on and see what I can come up with. Let me just put some of these away. I'm going to put these back in the box because I don't think I'm going to be using any of those in today's project. Um, I'm going to be working in my Your Creative Studio journal as I always 
please do. Um, but these are the bits and pieces that I think I'm going to be having a play with. Before I do anything, I want to see if I can get these um, stamps to stick. Sent me a message um, uh, telling me how to use these. So I'm just going to give it a go. She said, take the one piece of plastic off. And she said, then it should stick to the, the stamp block. And, you know, it does. Now, why do, what, Why wouldn't that work for me um, in the past? Let's try it with, uh, with this one here. Now, my stamp block is, um, is a bit dirty. Which is the cleanest um, size side? Um, will this um, stick? And it does. So, Amanda, you are exactly um, right. So, all you need to do is just take these um, thin layers off and it should stick to your stamp block. Glad that I finally figured out how to use the um, cling stamps. Now I think this is the spread I want to um, work on today. So I'm going to take this out of my journal carefully and let's see if I can um, do this. And as I always say for anybody who wants to know how I made this journal, I'll leave the link to the tutorial in the description box below. It is made with all your Creative Studio um, ephemera. Um, absolutely love this journal. So I'm going to to start off with this page here let me just um, fold it in half because what I think I'm going to do is add this tissue paper to this page like like this um, so I'm just going to start off by sticking this down and I think the easiest way to do this will be with um, a glue stick so I'm just going to apply glue stick all over the whole of the background just pulled out a whole heap of parchment paper and deli paper just to catch the excess glue just so that I can go right to the um, edges to make this stick and it's this side oh whoops a daisy let's just make sure that I don't um, end up sticking down any pieces that um, I don't want it's this side here the um, tissue paper that I want to use so let me turn it this way around I think and carefully get this to the edge oh dear me come on you I'm out of practice because I haven't done one of these for such a such a long time and I'm just going to trim around the edges in fact actually whilst that glue is wet I'm going to add some washi tape to the top and the bottom um, let's add a tiny bit more um, glue as well I'll apply that directly to the washi tape let me just see how much I'm going to um, going to need bring back my um, deli paper and I'm just going to apply the glue directly to the washi because I don't find that these are particularly um, sticky. That one's folded over, so let me just make sure I've got some there. Let me just uh, remove that tag as well because it's uh, getting in my way. So let's just apply some washi to the to the top there, and I'm going to do exactly the same to the to the bottom. Also, I can just trim the excess away. Just be careful when you're doing this on a spine that you don't cut through your spine because I did that with one of my Daphne's Diary pages, I think it was. Got a bit overzealous with my cutting and um, ended up cutting right, um, right through it, but I think that's okay. And I can just use a bone folder now just to make sure that that's smoothed out and properly um, glued down. So that's my, my background keep this piece of tissue paper here as well because it's um, a shame to um, to waste it. So what do I want to do next? I'd like to make a flip um, with this envelope here. This is the one that the cling stamp set um, came in. I'm thinking that that can hang over the top. Now my journal is starting to get really fat and so I want to take one of the layers away. I'm going to really carefully just trim an absolute smidge um, around the three sides here leaving the top intact so that I can hang it over the top so I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and just as I've said just slice these off just so that I'm left with one layer of the envelope now that I've sliced it the back's going to uh, come straight off so this will hang straight over the top 
of my page decorate um, this envelope i'm going to use the packaging from the sticky notes this is the um, backing the paper backing so i'm going to have that um, down as my background i think i've also pulled out um, this piece of ephemera so this was in with this little um, stack here um, i don't know does that look like a, a mermaid or something to you so i'm thinking that that will go quite well so i am thinking i can layer her on there i'm also also thinking that I might add some stitching as well. I've also pulled out um, one of the little labels from this set um, which I thought would cover up the word sticky note and then I've pulled out um, a seahorse which I thought I might be able to layer to get rid of fine so that we've just got fantasy showing um, which I think is, is quite nice. If it hangs off the edge that's okay. I've also got um, a starfish as well which I thought I could add just as a little embellishment and I'm quite happy with this SKN009 which must be the product um, code or something but doesn't that look cute I just love that um, I do think I want to um, add a little bit of stitching just because I just think it adds um, something now I've got a feeling this is a sticker as well so the stitching will hold um, this in place so let's um, stick this down with a, a little bit of glue first and then I'm just going to go off to my my sewing machine but I think that looks lovely um, and actually um, I might add a bit of stitching across there as well let me just um, pop that down again just so that um, I know where I want to stick that and then I can maybe experiment and use um, a, zigzag, a zigzag stitch. Shock horror. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm so conservative with my sewing machine and only ever really use the straight stitch. That's my stitching done. I'm going to cut my threads off. But, you know, if you prefer the um, messy look, you can always leave yours on if you ever decide to add stitching, um, that is. So let's cut these off the off the back as well get rid of those my fingers are now covered in glue um, so everything is is sticking to me but um, but that's what it um, looks like I just think stitching adds so much to your to your work I am thrilled to bits that I finally got to grips with using a sewing machine Time to glue everything down I'm trying out a new glue I've got this glue by Artway which is strong PVA um, medium full strength premium art and craft adhesive um, I have been doing my research. Um, some of you will know um, that I shared a video about two or three months ago um, sharing a review on all of the glues that, that I own and trying to come up with an alternative to using art glitter glue, um, which is expensive and, you know, at some times of the year, really difficult to get hold of. And this gets brilliant reviews. So I've decanted um, some of this into one of these Sugar Bell um, bottles, the same bottle that I use for my collage or fabric glue and I'm going to try it out this is the first time I've used it so you know give me um, a few weeks let me test it out and I'll share my thoughts um, but you know I am nearly ready to share part two of that glue review um, giving my thoughts on all of the ones that um, that I've been trying out over the past uh, couple of months so let's put some of this on, but apparently this is quick drying, incredibly strong and gets really good reviews and it's cheap as well. A litre of it was about nine, nine pounds. So I'm going to stick this onto this background. I want to see how quickly it dries how quickly it grabs and you know too too early for me to um, say as yet because this is the first time I've tried it where do I want my little starfish to go so let's add some glue to the middle now this is quite thick glue and it does say that it's um, thick so I'm not sure how it would fare in the really um, needle t uh, fine needle tip bottles um, perhaps I should try it in, in one of those as well, but it's working fine with them um, with this. And then I need to make sure that I don't add too much to the um, edge here because it's going to hang off. So let me start with the glue about here. Just need to make sure that it um, attaches and um, isn't going anywhere. That is such a cute um, page or tag. I love that. 
let's put the lid the lid back on well look that's instant um grab that is not going anywhere that's not coming off i'm impressed with that so far i think i'd also like to add something to the back of this and i'm thinking i can use one of these um, sheets that came in the pack i like that one let me just pull out all of the ones that i that i like have i got that one already you see i like that one that one's a bit too plain. We've got this one. So I'm passing on those. I don't want um, another jellyfish. So these are the ones that um, that I like. I think that one's beautiful. We've already got um, a seahorse on the front. We've also got um, a starfish. So let's go for this one here. And because this paper is so thin, I'm just going to use a glue stick to um, stick, stick this down. So I'm going to add a bit more of the washi tape just on this flap here because I've had a rethink as to how I want to add it to the journal. So let's just add a bit of glue to the washi tape just to make sure that that stays firmly in place. I'm going to have the washi tape this way, this way up. Slide it over. Oh, come on you. And I'm just going to trim, trim around the um, edges. Rather than put my, my flap over the top of the page like this so that um, we've got a problem with the opposite side, I'm going to glue it um, like that. Oh, let me remove that tag again so that um, it lifts up. So we've got this detail on the background. I think that's absolutely lovely. So let's try out our new glue again, our Artway glue, and see how we feel about this. Come on, come down to the bottom, you. Here we are. I've squeezed far too much um, out. I'm going to have to spread that with my finger. And then just glue that to the top. Try and centralise it. And let's see how well this um, sticks to the um, washi tape, which has got kind of a plasticky um, finish. So this will be a good um, test for this glue. The page looks now that it's um, popped back inside the journal. I love that, but I do want to do something with them um, with this side. So hang on, let me just see. It might be easier to take it out um, this way. So I want to do something on, on this. And this is just a paper bag that you can see I've already worked on. We've got um, a little pocket here with um, just a little embellishment inside there. But let's do something with this wondering whether there's another piece inside this set here that I might be able to use. That would work well. Hang on, let's just bring back the opposite side. Yep, colour-wise, I think that's going to be perfect. So let's um, start off with this. And I wonder whether I can do something with um, with one of these as well. These are the post-it notes, so let's tear one of um, one of these off. What can I do with this? Oh, that looks lovely already. I think it, the colours work beautifully, but I'm wondering whether I could use this lighthouse to add an embellishment. Let me just take this off, um, bring in a piece of deli paper. Let me just um, open, open this out. And I think what I'm going to do is stamp a lighthouse on here. To use Memento Ink and Espresso Truffle to do that. So let me just um, apply plenty um, of ink. Just to make sure that we're fully stamped up here. I must admit, um, Amanda comes up with some amazing designs for um, the stamp sets that she includes in these kits. So where do I want that to go? Let's have a look. I think about here. Go on, Nina, just go for it. So let's um, stamp this down. And I know that um, some of the stamp is hanging off the edge. Um, it's a little bit wide, but that's OK. Um, so let's hold this down for a second or two just for the ink to grab. I could, of course, have put it um, in my stamp buddy, but um, I didn't think about it. It's my stamping platform. Oh, fingers crossed. Let's lift this up. And isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I love that. I quite like the idea of having this as um, a lift up, but of course I need to glue this down. Which glue shall I use? Let's try this one um, again, um, just because I'm intrigued to see how well this, this works. So just trying to use a tiny 
amount just to glue this down to the um, to, to the top. That make a wonderful spread and because we've got pages of all different sizes in this journal I just absolutely love that you can see the background from the page behind and the colours just work so well as well so it just makes it look um, a whole lot more interesting. I love the fact that you can still see what's um, underneath this little post-it note here but I am really happy with that. We are nearly done in this journal. I've got very few pages left to um, finish now. Let me just give you a quick flip through just so that you can see all of these pages are made using your creative um, studio ephemera and I've got a playlist which I'll leave um, in the description box below so you know you can see I've got a few pages um, left to finish but I have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed putting this together um, it's so cohesive just because of the style of the the boxes which I think is absolutely um, wonderful um, a tag that um, that I made but but um, yeah, let's just um, flip through. So another spread that needs finishing. As I've said um, at the beginning of the video, I've received another box from Amanda as well. But I won't have time to do anything with that until I get back from um, my holiday. We've got various flip outs and pockets and all kinds of things um, in this one. But I'm leaving the video here for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's given you some inspiration and ideas as to how to use the contents of this box um, if you have it. Um, but, you know, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.